Ladies and gentlemen, this is our second event of the evening. It's in the Gladiators of the Cage Amateur Bantamweight Division, calling for three two-minute rounds. First, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 135 pounds. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, 34 years of age. He's a record of 1-0, fighting from Reed Academy and G-Force MMA from Cincinnati, Ohio, Ian Masters. And fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 137 pounds. He stands five foot six inches. He's 26 years of age and has a record of 0-1 from Stout Training, Pittsburgh. Penzo Lewis, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu MMA from Flint, Michigan, Gary Anderson, the referee, Chip Snyder. Chip Snyder again taking the helm in a, in a very important amateur bout between Ian Masters and Andy Anderson. Not a better guy that we could ask for to referee this fight. He's the premier referee in all of the Pennsylvania area right now, maybe tri-state area. Wow, big kick by Masters. And Anderson with the dump. Boy, I'll tell you what, it'd be tough to be in this with Andy Anderson in your side control. Absolutely. Anderson doing some work, trying to make sure that Masters is not able to do the wall climb as he wishes. He's staying in close. Good job of Masters working his way up. You can tell and he's been guillotine, here before. An arm and guillotine attempt here by Andy Anderson. Let's see if it comes to fruition. Yeah, it looks like he's fighting it rather well. It's kind of hard to see. It looks like and he's tapping. Tap. And he the got tap. him. Wow, two fights, two quick submissions in the first round so far here tonight, Charlie. You, Andy Anderson is pumped. Do you think Andy Anderson is stoked for it? His first victory inside the cage. Absolutely, with a slick arm in guillotine choke. That that's, is the kind of choke that you've got to be bound and determined to get the finish through one of your fighters. That's 100% commitment there. Take note, there was no sweat. It was early in the fight, and Andy went for it. Kudos. I love to see a guy go for it and take the risk. He took the risk, he found the great reward. Absolutely, Anderson was leaning and listing slightly to his right and ate a decent kick by Masters, but used it to turn into a nice takedown. Well, it definitely shows that the Gracie Jiu Jitsu training is still real and still for real. It's still real, and both fighters now moving up to an even one and one as amateur. Yeah, great fight. You know, you never know how long something's gonna last, Grant, in both of these fights, really quick. And both, both fighters went for it. Both fighters went for it. I have to point out that Andy Anderson had a deep arm in guillotine. Now, in the world of jiu-jitsu, if you've been doing jiu-jitsu or fighting for a while, you'll know normally to finish a guillotine choke like that, you would like to isolate your opponent's neck. That was not the case with Andy Anderson, but he had enough power and enough leverage from his body to complete the choke either way. Yeah, it definitely changes the technique, Grant. There is a little bit of change you have to do to get that move. Hopefully, they show an instant replay. Here it is. If you can notice, it, We'll, we'll see him actually striving here to get up a little bit. World-class jujitsu here by Andy Anderson, turning this control into a choke hold. Yeah, it's actually funny because Masters has his head right now. Let's go to our ring announcer, Dan Bogan. Ladies and gentlemen, they're decision. not wasting any time this evening. At one minute and 31 seconds of the first round, your winner by guillotine choke, fighting out of the blue corner, Andy Anderson! 